Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Tanian, and there's some pretty exciting news for ALFQuest fans out there right now. It was recently announced that there is an upcoming streaming ElfQuest series set to be developed by the production company Modern Magic in collaboration with Fox Entertainment. And the producers for Modern Magic are Rodney Rothman and Adam Rosenberg. Rodney Rothman is most well known as the writer and director of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So that's pretty exciting that he's taking on ElfQuest. The uh, streaming show is going to be written by Susan Hurwitz Arneson, who previously has a number of credits to her name. For example, she worked on South Park for a number of years and has uh, done a number of other projects. And uh, the original uh, ElfQuest Quest creators Wendy and Richard Pinney have signed off on it, are in full support of it. For those of you who aren't familiar with ElfQuest, um, it was an independent comic that was uh, first started publishing in like 1979, and I think uh, the first series ran until 1984. The way I was introduced to ElfQuest, and I do talk about this in a previous video, was through uh, the recolored graphic novel editions of ElfQuest that started coming out in the late 80s. ElfQuest tells the story of these shape-shifting aliens who leave their dying planet uh, to find another habitation, and they find Earth. And so in order to not completely alienate the Earth inhabitants, the humans, they take on the forms of the figures of folklore and myth, such as elves. So they take on the images of myth and folklore to appeal to the human imagination. And then that ultimately doesn't work out. The humans still persecute them and basically commit genocide trying to wipe them out. There's themes there of racial intolerance. There's also a great love of the natural world, this elemental kind of connection with the earth, like a pagan kind of mysticism and nature worship. And so there's so much um, depth and layering and symbolism and themes and elf quests that are just going to create a, a rich repository to draw from for this series. I can't wait to see all my favorite characters come to life on screen. Cutter, Rayek, Skywise, Lita, and then the villains, Winnow Will and Two Edge. I've always been interested and curious to see what ElfQuest would look like uh, when, you know, brought to uh, life and animated. And I think there's such a wealth of storytelling that you can mine from the comics and bring to the screen. And it's it's pretty exciting. If I would have any kind of input, you know, or creative input on what I would like to see in an ElfQuest series, I think the one thing is just, I hope it references and sticks closely to Wendy uh, Penny's original artwork from the comics and doesn't experiment too much with that style. And I think there's room for some experimentation, but I do hope they, they at, to begin with, stick closely to her original uh, designs and original art. And that would just be beautiful to see. I think her artwork itself in its original style was influenced by animation. And so immediately when you look at a piece of her art, you can just imagine it coming to life and having that sense of animated movement because that's the way she she drew and illustrated those comics. And she was very much influenced by film and animation and particularly like anime, uh, especially. And so I think uh, inherently ElfQuest really lends itself to being animated. Despite what I said that I wanted to kind of stick closely to those comics and be you know, somewhat of a faithful visual adaptation uh, to the ElfQuest uh, style in the comics. But that said, ElfQuest from the very beginning was a very experimental comic. It was not trying just to appeal to like a teenage kid audience. It was trying to create a larger story and a depth of storytelling that could appeal across cultures, across different age groups and demographics. Uh, it incorporated some eroticism into it and some pretty disturbing violence as well. 
And I think, um, too, it was announced that this is going to be an adult animated series, which was definitely the right choice and direction to go, uh, just not to kind of water it down. I think this streaming show is in good hands with Rodney Rothman as a producer, and if Into the Spider-Verse is any indication, I think we can expect to see some incredible visual storytelling here. Let me know if you like ElfQuest, if you're excited about this, hyped for this, if you have doubts or are skeptical about it, please share your comments below, and uh, please like and subscribe as well, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time here.